this is Scott Kintz with Pathway Solutions and we're going to go through another training and this time it's going to be on document management within .NET Nuke. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our resource page and then put documents in our publications folder. So going to our resource page we have um, a content page here and we're going to want to link that content page to publications also. So we're going to put a little bit of text in there and we're going to edit this some. We're going to save that and we're going to go to our text editor here. And we're going to say And maybe we had some other ones, other other pages in there. Right now we just have the publication section, but maybe we have maybe we put another one up there later on. Okay, for right now we're just going to save this page and I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a minute. This title sometimes doesn't like to be saved here. Okay, and update. That's why it doesn't do it because I didn't hit the update button. Um, now we have this page here and what we want to do is we're going to go into the publications section. Now we're going to go into the resources page, or excuse me, the publication page, and we're going to add a module. And what we're going to add is the document documents module. We're going to make it the visibility the same as the page. It's going to be a content page. The pane that it's going to be going onto is the content pane and it's going to live at the bottom underneath this existing content page. And we're going to align it left. And we're going to click on the Add button here. And now we have our Documents module here. And now we can come in here and we can add new documents. But before we go and add new documents, because we just have the root folder, First, I want to come over here to the Files folder, and we're going to manage our folders a little bit so we can organize our files a little bit better. You can see this is our root folder, and in here we have our images for our documents that we currently have on our, our site, but we don't want to put everything just into the root folder. We want to manage these and organize them a little bit better and have some structure on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in a folder name and we're going to name it the same as our, our folder that it's going under. So we're going to add a document there called resources. And then we're also going to add a folder underneath that called publications. We're going to add it there. So now we have a structure on here. We have our root, we have our resources, we have our publications. And maybe um, I see we have a training folder here. So why don't we go ahead and add a training we're located on our portal route and you can also tell here where you're located we're going to add a folder called training so now you can see we have a structure here so we have our our portal route we have resources we have training and we have publications under there now we can come back to our publications folder add a new document and we're going to call this worksheet we're going to load a file up and we're going to load it to our resources publications folder and we're going to upload a new file so we're going to browse for that file one We can track the number of times the link's been clicked. We can log the user date and time every time it's clicked. Hmm, don't need to do that. And 
I prefer that we open it in another browser and we can set the priority sort order index. That's how it'll sort up when it displays. So we're going to have that at the top. And now I'm going to come in here before I save this we're going to upload the selected file. Now it's uploaded to our our publications folder and there now we're going to update the site. Now we can see we have a document here called worksheet. You can download it and if we go to our files we know exactly where to look for that because it's going to be under our root resources and in publications and you'll see it right there there's several different file formats that you can load up you can load up word documents pdfs excel spreadsheets about any type of document that you can have on your computer one thing that you need to be aware of is whether or not people are going to be able to view this some people don't have office all, it's rare but some people don't so it might, might be better to consider loading PDF documents unless you're doing some collaboration and you want people to modify the document and send it back to you anyway that's an overview of how to add documents and document management to your website